Hi there guys, Jack here from Pure Create Designs and thanks for watching this tutorial. Now this one's going to be on creating shatter f um, sort of uh, dropping text like the intro you just saw before the video. Now uh, what it is, is the text starts to appear and rotate round and all the parts of the text are exploded and start to form. So if I just render this as you can see here, it all form and we have a nice shadow around it and it appears in uh, just before and then um, it will appear in back to normal text like so now this is pretty simple to do we'll be only using a couple of things so let's get started I'm going to go to file new and then first off what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my um, render sentence I'm going to go to this little one here and I'm going to go to output and just put my width to be 1280 and my height to be 720 okay that's all I'm going to do for now Alright, so first off I'm going to go to the little light thing here and I'm going to click hold down and choose floor. Okay, I'm going to rotate round so by clicking and dragging my mouse to the left. I'm just going to rotate round. I'm clicking and holding down the whole time. Okay, some people didn't know how to do that. Um, now I'm going to add a white to the floor. So down in the materials down here, I'm going to double click. Okay, and it'll create a material for me. I'm going to double click on that again, it'll come up with the box. Now on the color, I'm just going to make the color white. That's all I'm going to do. Okay, drag that onto the floor. You don't have to use this color, you can do whatever you want. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is go to MoGraph and I'm going to choose MoText or MoGraph Text if you're using Cinema 4D uh, R11. So I'm going to choose MoText. Okay, let that load. Now I'm going to go to text, I'm going to put PCD. Now um, I think this intro looks a lot better if you use it as initials like Pure Creative Designs. If you use it like that I think it works a lot better than if you would um, use it for like a whole, like say if I wrote Pure Creative Designs and did it, it just wouldn't look good. I think stick to initials like that uh, looks a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to choose a font. Um, this is going to take a while to load, my fonts always seem to take a while, oh maybe not. I'm going to choose the font mod. Okay, you can download this in the link in the description. It's free. Um, if a lot of people don't know how to install fonts, I have a tutorial on it. Just go to my channel and go down. It's one of my first tutorials, but it's okay. So just go find it. Okay, so I'm going to choose mon uh, mod, and I'm going to choose the font to be regular. Uh, the style, sorry. Then the depth, I'm going to put it to about 90. Okay, so we have quite a nice um, 3D effect to this. All right. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose a color so I'm going to come back down here to the materials, double click and double click on that again and I'm going to choose the color to be a dark grey like so. Probably down there so it's quite a dark grey. Okay. And I'm going to drag that onto the text. Now if I render this it doesn't really look it doesn't look nice at all. As you can see it just uh, doesn't look good. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a light. So I'm going to come up here, choose light <coughs> And I'm going to drag it up. Sorry, wait there. <coughs> All right, sorry. Um, I'm going to drag the light up like so, and then I'm going to drag it out a bit so I can see the front of the text light up like so. All right, make sure it's in the middle. That looks around the middle to me. Okay. Then on the light, I'm going to choose the shadow type to be a soft maps. Okay. So we'll render this now. As you can see, we have this nice um, shadow coming from the text. It looks quite nice, and it gives it like it's actually sitting on something. It looks a lot nicer. If you want the shadow to be smaller, you can just drag the light further up, and then render it, and then the shadow type will go smaller, like so. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to want to add the explosion to it, so we have it all break up. Now if I go to here, it looks like a sort of half a bridge. If I click that, hold down and choose explosion, let go. Okay. As you can see over here, it's added an explosion. Now it won't do anything if I add the strength up to say 60. It's going to do nothing because it's not being made a child of anything. Now, made a child is, or making a child, all it, well, <laughs> that sounds wrong, but uh, what if I say that, what it is, is I'm going to go and get the explosion I'm going to drag it down to the little arrow of pointing down and that's called making it a child or um, make a child some of like that but um, I'm going to drag it down everyone use, wants to use that correct term all you have to do is just literally get the explosion go to the mo text 
or MoGraph text and let the little arrow go down and then it just sort of grabs to it like so so on the strength if I just put this up to say 80 as you can see it's all broken up into little pieces okay so I put it back down to zero what we're going to have to do now is work backwards now my in the, in the intro you just saw um, I made it come in at 50 frames okay so I'm going to go to 50 frames I'm going to uh, hit the automatic keyframe going to make sure the strength is set to naught okay just, just click it again just if um, just so this little light comes on red I always just make sure I click naught again and click enter then I'm going to make sure I click the stop um, the little keyframe here so it creates a keyframe then I'm going to go to zero and I'm going to put the strength all the way up to about uh, 70 okay so it's got all the text shattered so if I play it now as you can see all this te um, text starts to form to form like so there we are looking good and then we have it end up completely back to normal okay <coughs> so as you can see that just that's really boring coming in we want to add a nice effect to it now on the last the intro you just saw it comes in from the top and rotates round now the way we do that is pretty simple what we're going to do is go to the mo text I'm going to right click and I'm going to go um, to make editable <coughs> Now if I click this little plus arrow here and I click number one and then PCD, yours will say whatever uh, text you've got there. As you can see, and now we have P, C and D. We can all we can edit any of these, so I can move this off here. Okay, I can move it wherever I want, I can rotate it or whatever, anything like that. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna be back on fifty frames. I'm gonna go to P. I'm gonna make sure my um I select the keyframe and make sure that the one in the middle, the automatic keyframes selected. Okay, so that this is where we wanted to end up. So I've keyframe there. Now I'm going to go all the way to zero, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to chord. I'm going to set the H to 100 degrees, the P to 100 degrees, and the B to 100 degrees as well. Okay. Then um, I'm going to choose the X to be. Now, say if I, as you can see here, we can just see it it's sort of rotated round. Now the X is um, along the bottom of the axis. Um, so that's going to move it left or right. If you make it negative, it's going to go that way to the left. If you make it a positive number, so above ne negative, it's going to go that way. So I want it to stay, I want it to go negative 100. I want it to go over a little bit. Okay, like so. Then I'm going to set the Y to be 400, just so it goes off screen. And the Z, I'm going to leave it. It doesn't really do much, it just moves it back. <coughs> but now if I play it, the text starts to come from the top, as you can see, starting to rotate round here, like so. So if I just show you, as you can see, this text is um, over here. I just let it render quickly. It is starting to appear from the side, rotating in, as you can see there. Okay. So the other two is um, now in line straight, and then this P is sort of rotating round into place. Okay. So that's quite a nice effect we can do. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do that for the C and D as well. So if we go to C, we're going to uh, hit a stopwatch at 50 frames where it's um, where we wanted to end up. I'm going to go to zero. Um, I'm going to set the axes to about 100. The X, sorry. The Y position, I'm going to put that to about 400. And I'm going to set the Z position on this one. I'm going to put it to about 100. That's just going to move it back. Now the rotation, I'm going to do a minus rotation so it rotates the other way. I'm going to put minus 100 for all of them. So minus 100 or negative 100, whatever you want. Minus 100. Okay. So it's going to rotate in the opposite way. But I'm just going to put the height. See, if you can still see the little sort of edges of where it's going to be on the screen, you're just going to want to put the Y axis up as it a bit. So I'm going to put to 450. Okay, so it's off screen now. So if I play this, it's going to rotate in the opposite way. Okay. Now I'm going to do the exact same for D. I'm going to go to D, set a keyframe at 50 frames. I'm going to go back all the way to zero. I'm going to set the rotation again to 100, 100, 100. Okay. I'm going to set the axis on this one quite fast. I'm going to put 400 for there, so it's gone all the way. Over. Actually, I'm going to put a bit more, about 500. I'm going to set the Y position to be 300, no, sorry, 400, so it goes off screen, yep. And the Z, I'm going to put it to about 300, I'm going to let that one go quite far back. So let's play it now. 
as you can see they're all forming in nicely there see the C's off the P and the D are in the same place and then they arrive back down together all in line where we wanted them to finally appear so that's it guys that's the tutorial I hope you enjoyed it please subscribe like the video and um, definitely if you want to comment below if you have any um, issues if you're having any tr problems do personal message me inbox me uh, I find it a lot easier to respond back to you and I mostly check them more than what I check my comments okay so that's it guys hope you enjoyed the tutorial as I said before definitely subscribe if you like it see ya